Hello everybody and welcome to the new series, 90s Flashback. Uh, for this series we're going to be looking at various games from the 90s. Today we are looking at Command and Conquer, a classic from Westwood Studios that came out in 1995. Unfortunately, there is no sound. I don't know why. Hopefully I can figure it out. At any rate, let's get started. There's also no movies. Um, I've decided to leave the movies out, just for copyright issues. Um, and, you know, it's sort of, if you've never played the game before, it kind of spoils it anyway, because the, the, the cutscenes were sort of the main pull of Command & Conquer, so. Um, now, the other thing is, this is a game that's very old. It didn't doesn't work very well anymore on Vista. Um, the community has actually come up with several patches, unofficial patches, and I'm running one of those. Um, and as a result, you can change the resolution. However, the first three missions comes up with graphic, graphical glitches because the whole map is actually smaller than the resolution you're running. <laughs> so you'll soon see what I'm talking about. At any rate, let's get started. Our mission objective is use the units provided to pr protect the mobile construction vehicle or MCV. You should then deploy the MCV by double click on it, clicking on it. Then you can begin to build up a base. Start with a power plant, finally search out, destroy all enemy nod units in the surrounding area. Alright, so let's get started. That's our MCV. I'm going to deploy that straight away. So as you can see, here's the graphical glitch. So the, the actual map is only this big, here. But because our screen is much bigger than that, it's got a problem here. So. That goes away by mission three, so it's no problem. And we'll kill these dudes. <laughs> All right. So just like any uh, real-time strategy game, you build a base up, you build men, and you, you go and kill the opposite base. So let's build a power plant first of all, because of course we need some power. So basically, my the idea I'm going to do with these with this new series, the flashback '90s flashback, is I'm going to do maybe five to ten episodes of each game, and and then move on. So there's a nod buggy. Die, buggy, die. Alright, our barracks are ready, so let's pop that down. Now, this is basically one of the first, well, not the first, but, well, June, June, uh, June was probably one of the first RTSs, uh, and this came out a couple of years afterwards, and I do believe it's the same developers. But at any rate, there are things in this game that are, are, would be considered archaic, I guess, nowadays. For example, you, you have no queue system for building. You have to build one thing at a time per building. So there's my new little man that I just built. And you just continue to build and build and build. There we go. So basically, you just have to micromanage a bit, bit more with this game. And I really wish the sound would work.
the music in this game was awesome <laughs> when it came out and I think it still is alright so we've got our tactical map here there is different forks to the game where you have two choices sometimes and you have to choose which one and if you choose one you don't get to do the other so um, there is there is that element to the game so there is a bit of replayability in that way as far as single player goes so let's start this one our mission, mission objective is defend your position deploy the MCV then build a sizable force and search out and destroy the nod base in the area all nod units and structure, structures must, must either be destroyed or captured to complete the objective Alright, so we're under attack here, which is not good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and repair our barracks. Alright, that's repairing. Now from memory, there should be some guys down here. Yep. <laughs> and we've got ourselves three engineers. Of course, uh, engineers can take over buildings, and there are some other uh, mission objective style things that you can do with them. For example, in one mission, you're required to fix a bridge, I think, and only engineers can do that. So you need to build an engineer and then go fix the bridge, but that's later on. So well, let's just get rid of the fog of war a bit and build a power plant while we're waiting. Damn not buggies. <laughs> Alright, our power plant is ready. Let's build some mini gunners. So obviously as you progress in levels you get more buildings, it's not just these three buildings only. <laughs> uh, you get a plethora really of buildings, there's quite a lot. Um, even later on you even get helicopters with GDI. So. Uh, and also you can uh, get uh, tower defence and stuff like that too. So. Send these guys down here. Start a two pronged attack. <laughs> oh, there's some fellas. Good boy. Uh, the primary source of money in this game is Tiberium. If you have ever played a Command and Conquer game, you're familiar with what Tiberium is. But for those that have never played, Basically, it's a substance that suddenly appeared uh, on the Earth. It basically dominates the economy. And these two factions, Nod and GDI, GDI being, oh, there's some Tiberium right there, and it actually hurts your men. <laughs> you can go over it with vehicles without any problem, but if you go over it with infantry, they're going to have a bad time. Team. Well, let's build some more mini gunners and we can defend this. So, actually, yeah, see how he's lost a little bit of health? Because he walked through the Tiberium. ring. Silly bugger. <laughs> oh crap. One guy got through. up here. Uh, I think I lost a vehicle. Indeed I did. That's alright, they gave me another one. <laughs> 
So generally speaking, GDI have all the money because they're the government of the world. They're the, the defence. There's a... Oh, oh dear. Looks like we're in for a fight here. Oh, they ran away. Uh, yes, you can... You harvest the Tiberium with a harvester and you take it back to your base and that's how you get money. We don't have a harvester yet because it's too early on in the game. They're still trying to teach us how to use men, I guess. Sort of tutorial kind of levels for the first two or three. Let's attack that uh, harvester. Stop their money flow. So we can go up a bit. And here's their base. So let's destroy this harvester. Harvesters and tanks can run over men, so you've got to be careful. And let's kill the refinery. Quickly kill this fella. And he's trying to repair his stuff, so. Instead of it taking anything over, we're just going to destroy it all, just for the sake of time. But I could theoretically send one of these engineers down there and take over his stuff. Actually, I might take over their... Yeah, let's do that. We'll take over their construction yard. because that will give us an opportunity to actually start building NOD technology. If I didn't mention it before, NOD are the other faction. You've got GDI and NOD. Uh, NOD are basically terrorists. In you go. That's it. So now we can build a refinery because we, we took over the NOD. And we can build a hand of NOD, which is like our barracks. Uh, this early on in the game, there's no real point in building anything because the variation of troops is nil. So, let's just kill this power plant and get on with it. And that's mission accomplished. for today. Let's just get the next, next mission briefing and save the game. Going into Latvia. Alright, build up forces to destroy the NOD base. Once all NOD SAM sites are neutralised, then air support will be provided to combat obstacles such as turrets. turrets. Destroy all units and structures to complete the mission objective. Alright, well, we will leave it there. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.